Verse 48. Therefore, uh, therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, mm -hmm. which the Lord has sinned against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and nakedness, and in the want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed thee. And basically, that's how he got over you. Naked, hurt, hungry, thirsty. We need the white man. Mm -hmm. No fire upon our neck. We need the so called white man for everything to this day. Yep. Without that uh, system, how can we eat? Yep. We cannot afford the average person, not even just, not even just black people now, they don't put their own business yep. in the average, the person, average person, cannot, person can't afford it. cannot live just by work, not these little jobs. You know what I mean? How are you going to pay rent? I expect you to me. It's, it's, it's crazy the way the world is going in a circular way because back in the day it, it once was a class system. Mm -hmm. And and uh, through the Caucasians making everything white and black, yep. you know, it, it became more of a race thing, more of a you know, pigment of your skin. Mm -hmm. But now that they done fucked over the whole nation, it's back to a class thing. Yep. There is no middle class. No, there's not. Like you said, and I should say that too. We probably had to be true. I say back in the other like back in the time it was about your heritage and just it wasn't really about your skin color. Yeah, your lineage. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was based on back in those times. It was based on your lineage. Man, Kim fucking. I was based white man made up this crazy about skin. Yep. White man made that shit up, and that was basically what you meant. Like. Everybody. Okay, you ever heard of William Lynch? Okay, William Lynch. That's where you get the word Lynch. Yep. You know, he said set the light skins up against the dark, the fat against the skinny, the big against the small, the father against the son. Yep. Exactly. So he set all that up to keep us in confusion. Oh, and to keep divided country. Because we see it all the time. Right, yep. divided country. That's why the so-called Puerto Ricans are considered, they're, they're, they'll be more considered to be towards white. They'll rather be with the white folks than us. And they really are brothers. Yep. They're supposed to grow absolutely all brothers. So-called white folks are brothers too. Yep. Because so-called white man looks at the uh, Caucasian people and says, oh, they're white people. Yep. Yep. They don't want to be white man. 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 I said Spanish-speaking niggas. That's how he looks at him. You just a Spanish-speaking niggas. Why? Because he knows your true lineage. Don't even like Spanish. They don't even like Spanish. Because they know that now. That's like Africans don't consider that. African. They always say, every time, them not our people. Yep. Nelson Mandela always said that shit when he was alive. We're not his people. We're not the same people. We're not the same people. He said that shit all the time. Yeah, Mah Mahatma Gandhi was on the same thing. Yep. He didn't care about South Africa. Yep. What did South Africa say? Black Jews versus the white Jews. Yeah, I don't know about, the black uh, uh, what about what about the Bible? What you think? The black Jews? What yep. the black Jews? And he was like, I said too much. Right. And then he was like, we are you talking about the African Americans? And then he was like, they're not African. Oh shit. I said too much. From the view. Wow. Donald Sterling. She was, was, she was interviewed with Donald Sterling. Oh, that just so it's recent. Yeah. yeah. He was like, what? The black we did a recent event, too. The white dudes, the white dudes. She was like, the black dudes. What are you, like, what are you talking about? What's the black Jew? Mm -hmm. And he stopped. They set that whole shit up. That whole shit was set up. Set up. To right. prove that we have no backbone. Yep. Black man has no fucking backbone. Yep. And they were just, they just told the whole world. How they fucking that, circle. Yep. Yeah. Bro, that was yeah, their focus. We still want to hoop. We still want to be that fucking monsters and clowns. And, and jump that baby. Yep. 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 Yeah, I, I was thinking that that was an opportunity for the project. I mean, that was an opportunity right there for some black brothers in the league to really be like, look, I mean, we make this league, we generate y'all money, and we want to be able to make our own money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm he said, I feed them. I clothe them. I give them cards. And he was right. He wasn't worried. So, so, so don't bring them here. here. So that's yeah. what that's he don't care. He he all he cares about like, is don't bring them around my ass. I don't want them around my event. I don't want them around me. He said, I feed them. I clothe them. I yep. give them cards. Don't they supposed to work for those shit? They ain't that work? But they can't. He's giving it to them. Yep. So yeah, taking you know, away their credit for the hard work, running exactly. up the There you go. Doing all that shit. There you go. So basically, he's like, they supposed to be working for that shit, but you think I give it to them. Mm -hmm. They jumping up around entertaining like a fucking monkey. They don't want to Got them busting out their ass to win a championship that's not going to help anybody. Like I said, uh, how the heck is a basketball championship? You won the bat. You won it for this year. 
and you're a champion for a couple of months of the rest of this year, and then next year you got to do this shit all over again because you're no longer a champion. They used to make us. That's make that. You know that. that. Listen, they, they, used to, they used to make crazy. You know, they used to grab niggas off the street and make them. They used to make us dance from the stage. Yep. Yep. And we didn't want to do this shit. Yep. Come on, dance for it, dance for it. Yep. Niggas is. Niggas ain't one of those old Negro spirituals that y'all feel so good. Now they just killing each other to save and serve the white man. Being they fucking clown, being they dead. Yep. You would kill them. They they kill us for that shit now. Just to, to serve the white man. Be now, do you have, can you, uh, is it okay if you got a job out in this society? Yeah, that's okay, because you got to survive out in this fucking society. Right. Alright? So we're still slaves to Yahweh Ba'a Shami Yahweh Shai Spirit and the truth, and we're slaves because we're still on this earth, we're still in captivity, and we're still slaves to the so-called white men. But we're no longer a slave for him, as far as mentally, but we still got to serve him. All right, we still gotta work for this fucking bullshit ass dollar that ain't worth shit, and it tells you on the dollar it ain't worth shit. It just tells you it's a note. But well, I could easily write up a fucking note. Right. That's just I an old rhetoric. Their own rhetoric against them. You're exactly. Right. All right. It's an IOU. Yeah, that's all it is. And it's not even a, a legit IOU because it's not like I could take that to the bank like I used what, what like you used to um, 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 before they changed the currency because it used to be a silver dollar silver, which means you take this to the bank and they give you your silver as many dollars as you have. You get, um, I think it was like 40, uh, 43 to the cents of a dollar. You get uh, 43 of the cents of uh, silver for uh, like $100. You know what I'm saying? So every little bit of money, of dollars you get, you'll get some gold, you'll get some silver back. You have actual money. So you actually have money. The Bible says gold is silver and gold is real money. All right. So the root of evil is what goes back to what silver and gold. It has nothing to do with the paper dollar. But our dumbass Christian people, they'll say, "Oh, it's talking about that money." No, it's not. That ain't nothing but a damn uh, uh, silver note, man. I mean, that ain't even a silver note. That's just a note. This proves that we still play. This is Matthew chapter seventeen, verse twenty-four. And when they and when they come to tax on him. They that indeed should you money came to Peter and said, Do it not your master pay tribute? He said, Yes, and when you come and when he would come into the house, Jesus presented presented him saying, What is the style of Of whom do the king of the earth and the custom or chip tribute of their master? Yep. He says, Of their own children or of strangers. And uh, Jesus said unto him, a saint, Jehovah Shai said unto him, then are, then are the children free? Well, are you free? You gotta pay tribute to the people, to the uh, government? But well, you're not no. free. So that proves that everybody is free to the uh, government. Not just the blacks no more, but even their own people. Yep. Because that was the fuck about nobody. Now the reason why Abraham Lincoln did the Emancipation Proclamation, Proclamation means to speak out loud, to proclaim. Emancipate means uh, to transfer ownership. So you got transferred from the south to the north. You were never made free. You were just transferred. All right? And then, exactly. And what did he do? What did he use to help transfer us? A so-called black woman, Harriet Tubman, to help steal slaves from the south to the north. Now, the reason why he stole those slaves is because slavery is money. Yeah, definitely. definitely. So, what did, Abra what did um, um, uh, Abraham Lincoln do to those South? He took their money away from them. Well, they, they had to for the nation because it became more industrialized at the time. So it but it was, it, was, it was never set up for righteousness. It was always still set up for the so-called black man to stay there. He wanted to do it either way if he became free or not. Exactly. He didn't care if he became free or not. Right? It was better for the be free. And that mindset, because then if you have, if you take this uh, yoke of eye up on their neck, they won't be as rebellious. Then when you get a smart nigga, all you got to do is train that smart nigga, and he can tell the rest of them, look, the white man is good. That's why uh, uh, um, um, Malcolm, uh, 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 Malcolm X and Martin Luther King were set up for. Right? Yeah, uh, you right? Uh, no, the problem is the like, uh, when somebody oppressing you so much, but then you love your master. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like, uh, like I said, um, 
me and him were two fighting and fighting. Y'all two was my slave. And I'm about to fight and you were like, oh, he won that for long. Then that night I gave you a nice piece of chicken with some good ass. Oh, yeah, you took up on your mattress. Yep. You had to make a head like a little fucking dog. Yep. You got that. Oh, yeah, my mattress. Yeah, me. Yeah. Fuck out of here. You know what I mean? So that little bit of, uh, comment that he did, it made up. For all that fucking beating his eyes, he probably had a thousand marks. He lashes on his back, but yeah, he loved his mask and all because he had fucking beating his ass. Now he's fucking mask and pistol. But he got a thousand slaps on his fucking back. Now that's another thing. They were only supposed to give us uh, no more than 40 lashes. They gave us way more than 40 lashes in their strike. Okay? Yeah, that's. Right? Yeah. Which means what? They knew. Because remember, they used to use this word against us, man. They used to write a scripture, I mean, read a scripture, and then whip the shit out of it. They used to hide the Bible, dance and sing it, while we burn it under yep. the fucking state. Okay? Yep. Even as far as slavery is concerned, the, the American idea of slavery is much different than the old world idea of slavery. Of course. Mm -hmm. But after a period, we could, of course, be free. Like, they kept motherfuckers and slaves for life. What? Hey, yes. That's the problem. You're That's only the supposed to be when you get arrested. You're only supposed to be there for seven years. After seven years, your servitude is done. No matter what crime it is, unless it's a crime of death. If it's a crime of death, then we'll go at any kill you want. But if it's not a crime of death, your max is seven years. Even in the uh, in credit. Uh, if you have bankers, uh, uh, if you don't have any money and you have bad credit, after seven years, it's what? It's wiped away clean. With the so-called white man, what? You get three life sentences. It's crazy enough. It's crazy enough. Yeah, you're going to serve 150 years. And then after that, then I'm going to give you another 20 years. Alright? That, that's not justice. That's not, that's not what, uh, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai set this world up for. But when they put uh, the world in the hands of the wicked, he gonna take what? Full reign. Now, the reason why we're out here is because Yahweh Shai, the one that they call Jesus Christ, he's up in the heavens telling them, look, your children out here giving the people the truth, and then here come the devil, like a DA, here come the devil talking all that shit. Alright? <coughs> Yeah. Right? So we're in a courtroom. Right? <coughs> and to court somebody is what? To play a game. When you're courting a woman, you're what? You're playing games on them, man. Yeah, you know, that's funny. I, I, I never put that connection together ever. I've, I've never done that. That's one word that I've never thought about is different concepts. Yeah. Court is concerned. I always think motherfucking black. <laughs> you know I mean? That's not, not another All right. There you go. Another thing, because you understand everything that you say. You can't. So, you're a Jew. You can't. You can't. You can't. You because we're not trying to uh, tell you to go ahead and do it if you're not comfortable, all right? I mean, but if you're comfortable with it... the Egyptians so Hellenized and so... Yes. Like that. The Egyptians yeah, yeah, are... Yeah. They, 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 they sold us into... They don't sell us, man. And Egypt means the house of bondage. So you're keeping yourself bonded by that, and that's an idol. Don't get that. All right? We don't have any idols, like, the, uh, uh, like I said about the cross being stoned. I'm sorry, Miss. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, uh, when it goes to idols, we don't do idol worship. But the Egyptians did idol worship. So that's why you got to let that go. All right? You've got to let that go. Now, about the cross being wood, most people think that Yahweh Shai was, um, was uh, nailed to the cross of that two things and sticks and everything else. He was nailed like that. The scripture says he was nailed to the tree. Now, don't they hang niggas on trees? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I want to hear that. Yeah. 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 Matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to give you a perfect precept just for that, too, after you read that word. Now, remember what I said, because uh, we gave the high side to the so-called white man that the most high yeah. did the same thing to us. He got hung on the tree, yeah, so we got hung on the tree. I'm going to get some water. Go ahead, bro.
There, there should be a, a yeah, right there, right there. Get that. Okay. Hopefully, you got some water in it. Yeah, There's uh, X530 says, uh, the Father, the power of our Father's raised up, and our shy will be excluded and hang on a tree. Uh, the most, uh, the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai when he slew and hang on a tree. When you slew and hang it on the tree. Now this is uh, Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Uh, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed be every one that hangeth on a tree. Is that one of the reasons that um, Judas was hung himself? Yeah, tree? yeah. Because like he, he demonstrate that point. Uh, no, he did it because he knew that he did wickedness. Well, that's it. All right. He know he told. He know he did wickedness. He stole. <laughs> he stole your house side for for some bullshit ass money. Right. He knew it was cursed. Basically, it was a curse. The moment it was a curse. He cursed him. To yep. Do and so the only way for him to get any type of repentance is you got to suffer the same thing that you make my son suffer. Huh. Yeah, so and the only way for us to get repentance is we have to suffer the same thing the same Yahweh Shai suffered. Right. The same one that said, all the shit the same thing about it. He's going to be hanging, he's going to be mad niggas hung out here, bro. On these fucking lines. You know what? That's the only thing that's going to be hanging on the That's the only thing that's going to be on the surface, bro. Well, that's so far, I mean, Jacob is us. He's us. Judah. Oh, that is because you see, like, uh, fucking, what do you say, what do you call him? Uh, uh, old lion. Old lion. Old lion. I was going in there, rather stuff. Uh, Paul was the what's that thing? Paul was the Bible. Paul was the what's that thing? Paul was the Bible. You know what I mean? All the same people coming out, even the white people that are killing niggas and getting away with it, not just grabbing people up. When they see that nigga get hung on the tree again, that shit's gonna grab everybody up. Most likely, then they get done. Then that's what the baseball shit is. This is lying. I'm gonna prove that it's, it's uh, the old line is actually yeah. talking about Judah, and that it comes from out of the scriptures. All right. Now this is Genesis 49 and 9. Uh, of 49 and 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp. A whelp means a cup. From the prey my sound thou art gone up. He stooped down, he crouches as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? Right there. As an old lion. So we're old lions. But the Most High gave us that spirit to be young lions now. And we're trying to get all those rest of those old lions to become young lions. Go ahead and read that. Oh, man, can I say that one more time? Yep. Our king, whom thy brethren shall praise, mm -hmm. thy hand shall be in the midst of thy enemies, thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp. Judah is a wise child. From mm -hmm. the prey, my son, thou art gone up. Mm -hmm. He stooped down, he couched as a lion, and as an old lion. Who I shall you? house him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fucked up, bro. You know you're an Israelite? Right. Verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come. Now, who's Shiloh? Shiloh, Shiloh. There you go. Say that once more. Shiloh, Shiloh represents you. How is Shiloh? Yep. Uh, how was? This is so far. And we know that uh, uh, Shai sprang up from what? From the tribe of Judah. All right, that's in the uh, Revelation. So in the beginning of the book, and at the end, it tells you that Shai is going to spring from Judah. All right? Unto him shall the gathering of the people be, binding his pole unto the vine, and his ass coat unto the choice vine. Alright? Binding his pole to the vine. Now, what's the first vine? Because the choice vine is talking about the elect. So the vine is talking about who? The Israelites. And then, after the Israelites, after I bind to the Israelites, I really want just the elect of Israel. That's going to be uh, close, but real close unto him. He washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grace. His eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. Now that so-called image has white eyes, I mean um, blue eyes. They don't have red eyes. 
right? So that's another thing they went off. Right. They don't know nothing. Y'all got it? Exactly. And, and he didn't smoke. He didn't smoke flax, which is a, a flax is a herb, all right? He didn't smoke herbs to make his eyes red. He drank wine to make his eyes red. Well, the Bible talks about smoking herbs. Yeah, that's a totally different subject. I'm not getting into that right now because that's a totally different subject. It is in there. It's in there. I'm, you know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll break that down to you in, in, uh, in a different note. All right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Exodus 20 and 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So he's represented Egypt as the house of bondage. Yep. Uh, matter of fact, what's the Isaiah tell you? I think it is. Okay. What you got? What did I say? 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 So basically the same precept as him. Mm -hmm. Trying to basically represent that land of Egypt represents the house of bondage. You got to go ahead. Isaiah 31. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yep. Let's go to the rebellious children, say the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Mm -hmm. And the cover, the cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. Mm -hmm. That uh, they may, they may mm -hmm. add sin to sin. Mm -hmm. uh, that talk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth. Now they wasn't in Egypt at this time. So he's talking about spiritual. To strengthen mm -hmm. themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. So he's saying people with rebellious children they trust in the president. They, they trust in the strength of the Pharaoh which is the president and they trust in the, uh, the shadow of Egypt yep. which is the land. Which is talking it's about America because right. the Pharaoh right now is what? A Hamite. So he's really a Pharaoh. Huh. Because he's the leader of, of spiritual Egypt, and he's an Amite, all right? Me, personally, I believe he's um, uh, Agnostic reincarnated, all right? And that's, like on the public, exactly. Obama, they got him on the, they got the, the culture of Agnostic and the Pharaoh and Obama face-to-face. -face. He went and seen it himself, like, that was just like him. Yep, all right? Now, Agnostic, what he did was, he didn't cast away all the things of Egypt, but he put so much new shit, it caused confusion. And that's what the same thing Obama did. And he's putting more and more new laws to cause confusion about the uh about the uh, uh, uh yeah, the constitution. The constitution. He basically debunked the whole entire constitution with his new law. And according to the right. uh, and he said that the uh that we're not just a Christian nation. Uh, yeah. According to the uh Ronald Reagan uh, made it a law that this nation is a Christian is, nation. Um, yeah, and the Bible is the um the, basically uh, the, the oldest for us, right? Yep. So. Which means they used to use a lot of scripture when they came to the courtroom. Now they don't. Why are you saying that in God we trust on top of it? Now they're trying to take that That's more due to Obama's doing? Yeah. He's doing all of that. He's but it's not him. just Obama. It was actually implemented from uh, uh, the Lee. first Bush. Well, the first Bush they wrote all, it in. They all being run by the elite. So then uh, Clinton, what Clinton did was he covered it up a whole hell of a break. But then the last Bush, he fucked everything up. He put all their business out. So they need a nigga to try to cover it up, but he can't cover it up. Every time he tries to cover it up with the new law, people look into it because of the internet now. But back in Bush's day, everybody didn't have the internet. But now we're in a day where you can get information quickly. That makes sense. Right. Everybody thinking about it. Like once um, the Bush administration was, was out of the office, mm -hmm. they started getting all the Republicans that were still in the Senate and different things. They tried to distance themselves from Bush, mm -hmm. Cheney, and let, me, let me read the scripture to you yep, one yep. more time, because now we're talking about 9-11. Now, Romans 9-11, it's the same verse. Now remember 9-11, what happened? That's basically, that was martial law, the first uh, stage of martial law was in Clinton on 9-11. That basically, 9-11 uh, attack basically was the beginning towards the real That was history. the birth of, of, yeah, of yeah. the uh, New World Order with that 9-11, all right? That means that they're going to start doing, um, um, that's when uh, every American, Coming out of Bush's mouth, every American is so, is a so-called terrorist. You know what I mean? And this, and this verse, this right because they surveil and a terrorists. Right. Go. And 9/11, remember, this happened on 9/11. Right. 
And there's Matt. Look, my wife and it's Matt at their twin brothers. And his was like, because we can get repentance. Yep. We can get repentance. They can't get repentance. Uh, it says, remember, this is Romans 9-11. They use repentance to uh, mock the most high. They use a lot of scriptures to mock it. So, right. So, mock the Romans 9-11. It's the beginning of this, uh, the curse of Esau, basically. It says, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the most high, according to election, might stand not of works, but of him that called it. It was said unto her, The elders shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I love, but Esau have I hate. So basically they just use that they use that to basically mock them all the time. Like just you get what I'm saying, nine eleven, Romans nine eleven, it's like a they you know how to do it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because they know that the Most High hates them, all right? They, so, so what they're going to do is... Basically, when they, you know how they, they had it in the census, like, mm -hmm. the day before, you yep. know, you ever yep. seen the, uh, the YouTube clip of, like, a couple movies that had, like, 9-11 in it before 9-11 occurred, like, they would basically tell you in movies. Right, right, right. Like they had some kind of terrorist you know, attack that was simulated in a right. movie. There you go. So, there you go. Subliminal message. So, basically, they use the scripture as subliminal message. They mock them on high with that, with that scripture, like, ah, fuck you anyway. We don't care. Yep. Because the Most High hates uh, uh, the so-called white man, he's going to destroy them. So they had, they went ahead and used the scripture to set up what they're going to do to the Israelites. Why? Because they mad. Because they take your All right. So you saying they use because the Bible as a they map, have to as a map to what evil shit they would like? Yes. A yes. yes. Yeah. Every look, the um, if this is the book of truth, then you have to what? You have to defame this in order for it to be a lie. All right. So in order for you to create your lie, you have to defame this. You have to go up against this. All right. That's how you make your lie stick. Especially if you could use a scripture, and everybody knows that the word of the Most High is true. That's how they got people to believe that God loves everybody. For uh, John three sixteen, for God so loved the world. Oh yeah, they send that message out hard. Yeah, All right. The world is so but the world is not talking about oikos. It's not talking about oikos and oikomeni, which means the entire earth. It says cosmos. Cosmos is a system. His system is his law. He gave his law to the Israelites. So the world he was talking about was for the Most High so loved the Israelites that he gave his only begotten son for the Israelites, not for the whole earth. Now, there's two, reasons, two ways you can prove that so-called white men didn't write the Bible. You know what I mean? Like, white men wrote the Bible. Whatever. Now, white men wrote the Bible. The description of Jesus Christ should match the descriptions in the Bible, right? The image of all the animal world is white men. But shouldn't that image be in the scriptures? Why be black in the scriptures? The white. Okay. The white man wrote the Bible. You don't think they would have changed that? Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, that's, that's a weird subject to me that, that you say, like, that, that some people say the white man wrote the Bible mm -hmm. because as far as the books that go into the Bible, I know that those were discussed during the many, many councils in Nicaea that you know, the different popes and the different royalty and mm -hmm. things would have, they would convene and figure, you know, what 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 books should we include in the Bible that can best like control the To try to serve their purpose. Right. Yeah. So yeah. But they couldn't rewrite it. Uh, but you got something? Uh, go ahead. I was, go ahead. You sure? Sorry. But they couldn't rewrite it though, all right? They couldn't rewrite it. Because if they could have rewritten it, they would have took that image of scripture out. That's simple. That's a simple. That's a simple scripture. They could have made what? They would have took the fact that the Most High hates sodomites out. Right. So even though they picked and choose what books they wanted to be in the Bible, there's certain parts of it that like they just couldn't. They didn't make. really pick and choose. The, the Most High told them to go ahead and put it up and set it up this the way because this on. word is it's supposed to be a snare unto everybody except for the children of Israel. The only, and, then, and then the children of Israel, only the elect is going to obtain it. That's scripture, man. That the election will obtain the truth and the rest will blind it.